Now, hello and welcome to this channel. This channel is for my husky, my Siberian husky, and hopefully how to train him, especially in the early years as a puppy. As you can see, very, very active dog. Now, the Siberian husky, as soon I got him as three months. The problem being, obviously, when you feed them when they are that young, their system is not developed yet. You have to be careful what you give them. So therefore, what I gave them was dry cereal mixed with a spoonful of this. Now, obviously, they will outgrow that, and eventually, you could give them some different food. Now, as you can see, as you can see the features of a Siberian Husky, like a wolf. Those beautiful eyes, blue eyes, light eyes, and they grow pretty quickly. The fur is a problem, obviously. They like the cold weather. So, a couple of things to teach the people. If you're gonna get a Siberian Husky, Australian Husky, and he is a purebred. So, he's from, both parents were Husky, Siberian Huskies. As I said, three and a half months, and he's has plenty of energy, so be ready to walk them a lot. Now, problem being, when it comes to this, obviously where they find a spot to do their poop and all that. Now, you could buy wee-wee pads, but they are quite expensive. So what I do in the beginning is, I put newspapers with the wee-wee pads. He gets used to the newspapers. When he has to do whatever he has to do, he will go to that spot and I leave some papers with, let's say his uh, uh, urine and things like that. So he will go to that spot and get used to going to the newspapers. You do not have to spend money on expensive and uh, uh, wee wee pads. Cause like I said, they're very costly. Once you get him to the location and they go to the same spot, you can get him used to doing it on newspapers. Now, other problem, they always say they need the cold, cold air, right? Air conditioning. Not really. As the summer was so hot in the northeast over here, I took a, I took a big fan, I put it on full blast, sleeping in front of the, full, the, 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 the fan, never complained, even the hottest of summer days. So he loved that breeze, he never barked, he never complained about anything. Of course, as you see, his fur is not that thick yet. He is still a baby. And therefore, still he is a baby, it is not fully developed his fur, but we're expected to get much thicker, obviously, in the winter as they need it. Now, the reason why I leave this strap on is to show you, when, he, when you walk with him in the beginning, he will pull you and he is overpowering in the beginning. So therefore, you have to decide which harness, which leash is good for you to pull him back. Now, this is the harness type, as you can see. Now he's gonna outgrow it because you can see his fur and he's growing. He's about 30 pounds right now. He's, out, he's gonna outgrow this harness. As you can see, it's a little tight on him. So, this being, the problem that I had in the beginning was this harness I put on the bottom, and then the, the loops I put on the top. Well, guess what? Siberian Huskies are very smart animals. When I put the harness type on the bottom, his mouth grabbed it and pulled it right off. That's how smart they are. I'm lucky it didn't happen in the middle of the street. So now I have to reverse it, put the harness on the top, put the loop with the leashes on the bottom. Problem being now, he gets a little tangled with the leash in between his legs because it's on the bottom. But I'd rather have that than have him slip it off and him run away or get into a fight with another dog. And when you get into a fight with another dog, you have to grab him by the collar. Well, if the collar is off, how are you going to grab him? So these are little things that I have to point out. And as you can see, come here, Hessie. Come here, Hessie. Come here, come here. Come here, look at that beautiful face, right? So like I said, usually they come in different colors. He's blue-eyed, blue-eyed, like a bandit, so to say. And they come in black and white, but it's rare to get a, a brown one. But I was lucky to get, he is a male, obviously. Um, and like I said, full of energy, 
full of energy. And if they will destroy your house, believe me, they will. But you have to have some sort of organization for him to keep him occupied with toys and things like that. I hope this was helpful, and hopefully I'll make more videos. But if you're thinking of getting a Siberian Husky or Australian Husky, remember, it's not that bad like people make it. And remember, just like any dog, you have to have patience, dedication, and you learn from experience. So that's the best type. Now there's other harnesses. There is harnesses over here. There's a harnesses that's a flexible one. This ripped almost, so I don't like the ones that, that flex. Remember, he's a powerful dog. The chain is a little too heavy. I don't like this one. I like this type so far, until he grows up. So anyway, Siberian Husky, and then there's another one over here. There's another one here. So as you can see, he is developing and growing, and he loves the camera, which is great. So please, if you enjoyed this, subscribe, and hopefully I will make more entertaining videos as he grows up. Thanks for watching.